Welcome back to my channel. Did you guys like this week's episode? Keep watching if you want to see my breakdown of episode 4, Weekend at Brandy's Part 2. Captain Lee is amazing to stay by Brandy's side during her medical emergency. You can tell he has compassion for all people. I'm so impressed every time I see a captain dock the boat, that must be so nerve-wracking. I do think that Captain is, like, done with Abby at this point. Who wouldn't be, really? She can't listen at all. The look on Captain's face the entire dinner service was so sad. He was so unimpressed with Kevin and his food. I mean, the guy ate his main dish. Like, what? And then not even try to feed the captain at all? Does he want to get fired? I'm shocked, and I mean shocked, that Captain Lee has put up with all of Kevin's bullshit. He literally walked away from the captain. Like, who does that? All of his interactions with Kevin are so awkward. Kevin even had the audacity to call Captain Lee a cunt. Condescending little prick is right. I want him fired. Kate is such a good boss, in my opinion. She really tries to protect her girls from Kevin. I absolutely love Captain Lee and Kate's work relationship. You can tell he trusts her judgment and takes the things she says seriously. She's not petty. She tries to manage it on her own. But when Kevin is such a prick, it's hard not to let Captain Lee know what kind of chef he has on board. On the way back to the boat, I'm pretty sure Kate wasn't pleased with Kevin laying her head in her lap like a weirdo. You hate her, bro. What's that about? I've said before that I think Ashton is doing a good job as bosun, but I think the tide is starting to change. He needs to be more of a leader and not so much a friend. He should probably take a page out of Kate's leadership book. It's not the same, but he needs the same seriousness to yachting that Kate and the captain have. Even Ashton knew that Kevin really screwed the pooch on this one. The look on his face was surely... Thank God he fucked up more than the deck crew. Hey, Ashton, you probably shouldn't call Brian out on his behavior with Courtney, Mr. Ass Toucher. Like, that's better? No wonder why Courtney is into Brian instead. He wised up, dude. I think Ashton might have to get in line to kill Abby. He's being way too nice about her lack of ability to follow simple orders. He's being way too easy on her. Kevin's just straight up garbage. Please just run all the way back to New Zealand. He worked on yachts for six years. With his behavior, I highly doubt it. He hasn't proved that he is a competent chef, let alone a five-star yacht chef. I mean, the man can't even order provisions correctly, multiple times. Why on earth would he think that people paying thousands of dollars to charter a yacht would want to eat frozen anything? And him acting like Captain is disrespecting him is laughable at best. He's like a small child getting yelled at by their parent. I want to know exactly what he wanted praise for, because I'm pretty sure at least the captain could order enough provisions for the charter, feed everyone on board, and let's face it, probably cook it better as well. At this point, I think he just lied about his experience, because I just don't see the yacht chef in him. Asshole, yes. Chef, no. What a cocky little bitch who knows more about anal beads than cooking. Next chef, please. Hopefully, Ben. I'm not shocked Simone is still hurt by Kevin's harsh words. What a dickhead. I think Simone has a lot of class to handle herself, as well as she does on the boat and off. She doesn't get white girl wasted, as Tanner says. She just dances. I say she's dodging a drunken bullet. She's super sweet to be taking care of Abby. I think those girls got pretty close during the season. I do think that she's being taken advantage of with the laundry thing, but it's kind of her fault as she proclaimed her love for laundry. Kate even asked if she was getting sick of it, so Kate was aware of the situation. Brian breaking the davit was really bad, but he did take responsibility for his mistake. Captain is right, he should have went to Ashton first. On a boat, things are supposed to go up a chain of sorts, from my understanding. Brian in the sailor shirt was pretty entertaining. I hope him and Courtney get to know each other more. I think they're cute. I'm sure that sitting in that room with Brandy and the captain was awkward at best. I also have a phone voice. I find it's really hard not to in a professional setting. 
I also agree with her about needing a squishy man. I know I started out this season stating that Kate is my spirit animal, but I'm beginning to think that it's Courtney who is my spirit animal. I think she did an amazing job handling the Brandy situation at midnight. She did everything perfectly. She got Kate and went by protocol. Good job, Courtney. At this point, I think Courtney is completely turned off by Hansi Ashton. He asked Courtney about her worst qualities? What? She wants to get to know Brian better. I might have to add a shit Courtney says that makes me laugh part. Just a tip, Tanner. Don't call the woman you want to take on a date an older woman. Leave it. (laughs) Grow a pair of balls and verbalize your intentions instead of beating around the bush. He could have been a little more proactive to find Kate if he really wanted to. But in my opinion, Kate scares him, and he chickened out until he had a little liquid courage. He stated to Simone that he would be her giggle connoisseur. I don't think you know what that means. She's going to get fired because of her lack of ability to follow simple orders. Oh my goodness, can she just get over the amount of times everyone has to change? I'm kind of sick of hearing her say it every episode. It doesn't change. I'm also starting to question her taste in people if she thinks Kevin is the best person on the boat. What boat have you been on, girl? I love meat was the best thing she said all episode, but damn is she fucking up really bad on the deck crew. Gluttony is what destroys you. Are you kidding me, bitch? How classless are you and your friends? You think she's that bad? Are you fucking kidding me? Did you not notice her strange behavior the entire charter? I highly doubt that group of people is that stupid and out of touch. But maybe they are. They really never seem concerned about Brandy. Shameful behavior from all involved. When the doctor asks Brandy how many days she drank in a row, she clearly states two weeks. So you telling me that her friends didn't notice that? I doubt it. All of these guests are classless trash. Funny thing is, they will probably return next season thinking that everything went perfectly. I really want to know who this freaking Jeff is. Who is he? Her husband? Her sugar daddy? I'm confused. Even Brandy, you know, the one who was drunk the entire time, even she had the class to apologize to the captain stating, if anything I did was bad, forgive me, okay? Having awareness of the situation. Captain Lee's words of wisdom from this week's episode. I'm responsible for every swinging dick on this boat. The shit Kate says that makes me laugh.
this week's Twitter Live highlights. Twitter moments from the cast this week. Tonight's Captain Morgan moment goes to Tanner for being completely awkward trying to get with Kate, not only at the bar, but also on the boat and land. Abby would be too easy. The peak was Helen giving Kevin underwear and asking for a picture. And the pit was Kevin eating Captain Lee's entree at dinner service. These are my predictions for this season. What are yours? Please comment below and tell me. On the next episode of Below Deck,
As always, thank you for watching, and try not to screw the pooch this week, okay?